All right, what's up, y'all? This is Adrian Tepes, and I'm gonna be doing some commentary on my matches that I had on 5K recently. Um, might be doing this a little bit more often. Uh, this right here is pretty much my favorite game. Haven't played on Fight Kate in a while, and I you know, decided to give it a go again and just get some games. So this is against Mobius. He's a QB player. Um, QB is one of the best characters in the game. Um, has a try jump, super hard to deal with. And uh, I'm not exactly an expert in this game. <laughs> so for these first few, well, for these first uh, many uh, matches I actually get kind of washed um, but I kind of wanted to just go over these and just uh, basically go through my th thought process and do some, like some match analysis um, so basically um, since it's I'm not really an expert and it's been a while um, I do try to play a little bit defensive um, but every once in a while I, I go in um, I already know that um, you can't do instant overhead um, with jump strong on QB her, when she's crouching, her crouch is too, uh, too low. Um, so I really just try and get those jumps in and you can see I'm doing the jump strong but I'm, I'm still timing it too early so when she's crouching it's still whiffing. Um, that is something that I clean up later. I'm not actually sure how I got hit there. <laughs> um, that was a bad roll. Um, in that situation, um, QB, if you roll out of the corner like that, QB can get a 50-50 on you depending on which side she walks to so that was a bad roll um still could have blocked there but somehow i didn't uh, and i got hit so at this point i'm just trying to see i noticed that he's very um very patient when i'm far um so i try my hand at going in a little bit um since he's not uh he's not really zoning me out a whole lot i figure i can use the double jumps to close the distance a little bit more safely because uh, QB does have stand uh, medium kick, um, accidental dark force right there. Stand medium kick from QB is really, a really, really good anti-air, but if you use double jump correctly, you can get over it with Boletta. So I, I figured that's why he wasn't really using it a whole lot. And then um, stand jab, using it to uh, swat out the, um, the try jumps. Um, right here, like he does a bit of stagger pressure, he catches me. Um, trying to, you know, be a little bit um, careful about when I try to do the push blocks um, because with that stagger pressure, um, pushing buttons can be a little too dangerous. Right here, I'm trying to just react and get a feel for the reaction on um, blocking those. Um, you know, technically you can push block any one of those hits, but it, since it's so fast and you don't want you don't really want to screw around with push blocking all willy-nilly because if they do stagger pressure and delay then you'll wind up pushing a button and they'll just stuff you out with you know a slightly delayed attack so it's gonna take a while before uh, get we get to the better the better round but at this point I'm just trying to see like uh, what works against him what doesn't I'm just trying to feel it out do a little bit of dash pressure and yeah so you see like even even at times where you do expect um, more than one try jump in a row sometimes like since you're trying to react to it based on anticipation and not um, preemptively block high sometimes you still get hit with it even though you see it coming um, it is he is doing like super low try jumps like low to the ground and those are pretty difficult to react to. Um, fortunately, I actually didn't do too bad with that because it is Fightcade, so you know it has really good GGPO rollback netcode. And um, FBL Neo has a, a run ahead. It has frame run ahead, so the actual inputs, the input delay is very low. Um, so still really, really high quality. I had a good connection with him too. Uh, and even with that, it was kind of difficult to react to these. I managed to take a bat from him in this round. Um, he didn't really chase me down um, enough to get anything off the bubble. But, you know, after that, you know, he got his high-low mix-ups right there. And, of course, you see it coming. You see it coming, but it's, it's super difficult to block. Um, still not really 
trying too much for the push blocks on that pressure. I'm really more focused on getting into the habit of um, trying to react to it and block. And I got like a nice chain combo there. Um, sometimes you gotta take what you can get. Try to do cross up there. Um, kind of hard to cross up QB. Kind of looked like it would hit, but uh, didn't push a button. There you go. So uh, finally got one of those in. I hadn't been doing that the whole time. I figured, you know, he was expecting a whole lot of button presses, which usually I was doing uh, after cross ups or cross up attempts. Uh, but still, try jumps. <laughs> All right, a little bit of grandma there just to get some. Uh, invincibility. I tried to go for the B and B there. I missed the shyness and strike. Um, it would have it would have gotten the down. Um, so at that point, I just back off. I figure um, since I missed the down, he probably would have been ready for me to get like a little impatient. So instead, I backed off. Uh, probably not the best call, but um, still managed to take the bat. And then yeah, he gets his high low. Um, I think after I blocked the, his um, hit grab move there and I did the stand jab, I think that was supposed to be a missile because there's no way I would have tried to stand jab to punish the bounce back on that move. So I think I think it was a, a, a missile attempt and I just didn't have enough charge. Um, ideally, I mean, I could do like a dash strong or I could like try and double jump out. Which I probably should have done, but I thought I had the charge. Uh, tried to chicken block there, not fast enough. Yeah, did a quick double jump there to try to get in, but he was backing off and creating space, so he managed to stay back. Did a little bit of stagger pressure, didn't didn't time it uh, well enough to block his counter poke attacks. Another accidental dark force. Not really sure how I managed to accomplish those. Um, I think those were the only two. Right there, that was a jump out. Tried to jump back, and he stuffed it with the stand strong. There you go. Swatted out the try jump with the, the jab. And right there, I was a little bit careful. I thought he was going to do um, stagger pressure. He wound up going for the full chain, so I didn't get my, my push block on it. Uh, stand jab trade with his try jump in my favor since I get a reset. Uh, tried to do a... Um, Tick throw set up there with the regular grab and uh, not close enough, so I got the backwards uh, basket. I think it was a little bit of a skip there with the um, fight cape. And yeah, <laughs> gets the try jump, uh, hit confirm, low short into the CR, like hit grab move. So at this point, I'm just trying to contemplate. Um, how I should be defending because um, even though I'm, I don't really have the best offense right now like in these series of matches my offense is not really what's lacking it's the defense uh, I'm taking all these straight hits um, he's getting try jumps on me confirming it into the, the you know the CR I managed to miss me completely with the guard cancel that looked kind of strange and then somehow caught me with that one, which kind of looked like it shouldn't have hit me. This game has weird hitboxes. Tried to swat out the try jump, missed, he was already on the ground. And probably should have backed off there to try and recover white life, but... And there you go, he, he low blocked the unblockable attempt there that time. So when B floats like that um, across, I try to do like, a, I either try to jump twice and do a, a strong from above, or I try to do a like a jump forward um, a fierce, which is a Uzi. Um, has a nice angle that will catch people out that where the jump strong doesn't catch people. Yeah, right there, I actually did try to push block right there and that's why I got the jab, but he did stagger pressure well enough that he caused the frame trap. And that's that's the um, that's the risk. Um, he hasn't really been going for tick throws that much, and that's something that I noticed. So instead of being worried about the tick throws and trying to either tech or or jump out, um, I've just been focusing solely on the high low block and the stagger pressure to try and see if I can get a push block. 
I thought he was going to go for a little bit of more of a chain, uh, and I guessed wrong on that one. And right there, that was another jump out, and he did a two, you know, he did a stand strong and then dash strong. And then I noticed the um, stand jab from the right range will always stuff out her her stand strong, which is it's pretty helpful. Yeah, that right there was unfortunate. I I was trying to hit him out of that move, and he was just kind of far. And right there, it's just kind of a cheeky grandma. <laughs> um, from the spot he was in, there was no real incentive for him to block, so it's kind of why he got hit with it. He got a nice push block. I was doing stagger pressure there, and, and the, he, the one low jab that I was intending to do, he push blocked it. Um, I rolled out of the corner there, even though it's not really a good idea, specifically because I noticed he hadn't been going for the 50-50 setup. And that right there, I was, I was a little sad about that. Um, I was trying to missile to anti-air, and he wound up doing his command dash uh, right over it. <laughs> so yeah, I did say I did say that I get washed a lot uh, in the beginning, um, but over time I do clean it up. So yeah, he. Uh, it's definitely like trying to do those floats. There's the jump fierce to try and catch his float out. Because the jump strong will definitely not hit him from that angle. Uh, try to cross him up. Miss. QB hitbox. Crouch hitbox. Alright. Took my chance again rolling out. He didn't go for the 50-50 setup. Did a little pursuit attack to get closer to him. Um, I thought he might have grabbed there. So I actually did a back strong to try to hop out but let us back strong will put her airborne shortly so if they try to go for a grab attempt you actually hit them out of it and if they did get a grab attempt you'll get a tech so it's a nice option select and i tried to chicken block him right there so that but i was too low to the ground to actually get an attack after the chicken block That was a little a little weird there. I was actually trying to go for um, command throw, and he did stay blocking, so the command throw would have worked. But I, I screwed up the input. Then I just chicken block uh, the jelly, and then jump again. Uh, fortunately, Baletta does have that right there. I actually did a 50/50 mix up, so I did the unblockable for the first one because I noticed a lot of times when I knock him down. He hadn't been tech rolling a whole lot to the side. He'd been just getting up in neutral. So I did neutral jump unblockable. And then on the second one, I did uh, jump strong instead of uh, the roundhouse. Because uh, I figured it was going to try and block low. You can block the mine low and avoid the unblockable. So I just kind of mixed it up there. And it did work out, but still lost. And yeah, I backdash there after knocking him down, but he's still not rolling out of the corner. Had, hadn't really been rolling out. Um, so I keep the position, but... And there you go. Me messed up my BNB, but I just uh, mashed a couple low strongs and he pushed the button, so... Yeah. I, de I definitely did try to block those. It's hard. There you go. Accidental low strong, or low fierce rather. Try to swat him out, but he didn't do the try jump, he did a low. And yep, yeah, I managed to get away for a little bit. I recovered a little bit of white life, but it wasn't enough. He catches out my jump, my jump back attempt with the stand strong. Uh, looks like a bit of a missed input on his part with those two stand jabs. Not sure what he was trying to do there. Uh, get, get a nice little chain on him, and this is the first the first one where I actually managed to take the game from him. Um, managed to just get enough stray hits on him and defend well enough to actually get the game. So at, at this point, I am like starting to catch on, but um, I'm still not uh, I'm still not at the point where we can have like really even matches. But uh, I was definitely happy. Uh, about taking that game because I felt like I was making progress on the matchup. Um, 
And then when I'm jumping towards him and he's crouching to like try and avoid my jump ins, I'm trying to delay my jump strong, but it's a. Uh, it's kind of weird because like against other characters, you don't really do that. <laughs> against most of the other characters, anyway. Um, only this, only the really short ones. And QB, QB, if I'm not mistaken, has the shortest crouch hit hitbox. Yeah, at this point, I'm just trying to recover some white life. Yeah, at, and right here, I'm just trying to be like pretty defensive. Just go for the regular chain instead of the uh, actual like hit, uh, hit confirm there. Gets his guard cancel. I do another chain instead of the stagger. And right there, instead of the float, he actually did like jump around house there and it caught me, so that was really good. Did an early air to air. That was a really risky low jab, <laughs> but um, I managed to get away with it, but still, I, I still had to block the jelly afterwards, so it's not like it's not like it did a whole lot to help me. I figure it would just maybe swat him out of a try jump and cause him to reset, and if that happened, I would get a little bit of extra breathing room. That was kind of a weird looking cross up right there. Managed to I actually chased him on reaction <laughs> with that, which was kind of it's kind of uh, surprising. Yeah, he's doing this floats a lot, so I'm doing these double jumps to like go in, because uh if you do them from the right positions, then her her uh stand uh, medium kick can't really anti-air you effectively. Yeah, so right there. I figured he would try to float forward, so I double jump with, with a strong. And right there, I actually tried to delay so the, the, those missiles. I, I figured he would try to push a button, and he didn't. He just stayed blocking and got the guard cancel. Yeah, we got it like a trade there. I figure I could mash out the low strong. If you push the button, then you get I get the down. Got a knockdown. He actually rolled back for once. Um, he tried to guess on that. Um, didn't get it. Still missing my BNBs. Um, the connection is really good, and fight cave is like it's really good. So uh, it's not the online's fault. It's just me. And he actually chicken blocked that mine and, and with his float and it pushed him all the way back. That's kind of a weird interaction. I, I was able to chase his dark force, um, but I didn't get, get the confirm again. Generally, I'm pretty good with uh, getting those hit confirms, but um, I was missing them uh, quite a bit uh, early on here. And that, I was actually a little bit upset about that because I don't know how I really got hit with that. I, I mean, obviously it's coming, so I can't push a button, so I'm just blocking, but somehow I got hit with it and he managed to steal the round. <laughs> that was a, I was a, a little bit upset about that. I think that was the only point that I actually got legitimately upset during this whole session. Accidental low fierce there. Did kind of look like he was going for a, a throw. So when I, I that was kind of a weird exchange. I did jump over him, and he jumped to follow me. And I figured I needed to attack backwards, so I did the other double jump and immediately did jump strong. And that was just a poor move choice. I did actually react to that, figured I could swat him out of it, but I used the wrong move. I tried to delay a roundhouse there to sweep and he didn't, he didn't fall for it. Um, he actually caught me with that. 
and he messed up the timing, so dropped the combo. And that was kind of weird. I, I I figured he he would push a button there, and I chose neutral jump mine for some reason. <laughs> it worked out. Yeah, he try he, he keeps trying to go for that second like dash, uh, stand strong and. At this point, like I definitely caught on to that. He was like catching my jump back, jump backs with that. And that was a little unfortunate. I was trying to capitalize on the white life, but he managed to turn the pressure around, recoup some of it. So right now, at this point, like. Because of the way QB's air dash works, where she targets the opponent based on their current position, um, being far away from her is the safest place I can be. So whenever she's up close, really like near near my face, that is the position that I want to avoid. Um, but of course, I can't just stay back. I, like missile is not good enough um, to really take advantage of that. I only use the missiles for zoning and to try and catch her out of floats and stuff like that. I managed to take that game, so I was defensive and careful enough at the end where she couldn't really get enough of her try jump pressure um, to close it out. So yeah, uh, unfortunately in this in this matchup, like I do have to go in at you know to actually deal any kind of real damage to her, uh, and then that's where she's at advantage. Right here, I'm just trying to hold out <laughs> to recover white life, but of course, he keeps on the pressure. That right there, that was super tricky. Like, he whiffed his try jump and it kind of changed his land timing, so I got hit with the low after. And there, there's a 50-50, so that was, that was the wrong decision on my part. Like, I, I should not have rolled towards him. And I thought I was going to roll past him, but he was standing in a position where um, he had the option to either pass pass me from one side or stay on, on the same side. And it just kind of confused my block there. There's another missed BNB. Really do need to get back into hitting those properly. And yeah, so double jumps, I noticed like double jumping towards B gives you a lot more of a chance to actually get in um, because her B is like ex exceptional at ground footsies, right? So trying to dash strong is kind of risky when she has moves like low strong, low, low medium kick and stand strong. Um, all of those can just like swat you out. Um, so double jump forward. Um, I can avoid her stand medium kick, uh, as well as swat her out of her floats, and I can potentially cross her up, um, force her to get on the on the defensive. Of course, what I do after that uh, makes all the difference, because if I don't keep her in check after those double jump strongs or double jump, you know, medium kicks, um, she'll just, I'll just be in her face and then she'll get her try jump pressure. So. My, my main thought process here is that I need to stay far away until I can get those double jump positions to get close enough um, or at least use missiles, but she can crouch under the high missiles, so got to be uh, very careful about those usage, uh, the usage of that. At this point, I'm just trying to keep her away and I was actually really sad about this because I totally saw the try jump coming and the missile traded with her and I died and that that <laughs> that made me very sad <laughs> uh, but it but you can see how close the, the match was um, so yeah I was definitely happy also that making a lot of progress so yeah right here neutral staying really far away really good stand medium kick uh, anti-air on his part and there you go, there's there's his advantage until I can get a push block. Yeah, so you got, you got some of those 
uh, stand medium kicks. I was trying to like swat him out or like shoot him out of um, the floats, but he was actually staying grounded, so he got a few of those in. And then managed to get a nice uh, turnaround, put him in the corner. Uh, but then he gets his combo on me, and that does a lot of damage. So at this point, yeah, he, he waits until I'm falling, and then he jumps after and gets a nice angle on me. But yeah, so I jump back, then jump forward. I was trying to bait him into moving forward. So yeah, th doing those double jumps forward um, is, you know, really good a way to approach B. Because um, approaching on the ground is kind of risky, especially when she's going to try and float a lot of the time. I jump forward, do a chicken block, and then jump forward again afterward and uh, keep my position. I just, I had some white life and I didn't want to get caught in the corner with the jelly following me, so um, managed to uh, make it out of that. I did low strong after that because I thought he was going to do dash strong, which he kept doing repeatedly. And he didn't. He did. He uh, did the try jump instead. So he managed to uh, counter that. But typically in that situation, he he would do the stand strong and then follow it up with a dash strong. So I I, I adapted to that. Tried to do low strong, um, but he did something else. And then we we got some try jumps. So managed to take uh, more than fifty percent of my health right off the bat. Still doing those um, jump strongs a little too early, so he's like crouching and just avoiding them. There we go. I did a little bit of stagger pressure into a chain. And if he and here's the thing, if he push blocks me, there we go. Finally, I got my B and B. Um, if he push blocks me while I'm doing a stagger, it's not a big deal, right? It's only. It only matters if he actually guard cancels me. If he pushes me away, then he's actually putting me in a more optimal position. Um, but if I push block him away, then it's in my favor. So either way, it's in my favor. It's only not in my favor if he does guard cancel. And yeah, it's it's kind of a kind of a strange dynamic. Um, Buletta is. She's at advantage, like, in a technical sense. Um, I think I tried to do grandma there <laughs> for the invincibility. She's at an advantage when she's at a distance in this matchup because B can't really get her pressure going properly. But you can't do anything from that distance. You have to get in. So you essentially have to basically... Put yourself willingly into B's territory to get anything done. I actually just stood there and did a <laughs> regular stand strong to, to anti-air. I was at a nice distance for that. And right there, I'm doing like a bunch of low strongs because he tends to... He's trying to like counter... Like after getting hit with a low strong, he's doing like counter poking to prevent me from dashing in. So instead of dashing in, I'm actually just whiff punishing with... A uh, little strong. He actually woke up with a button even though I already had jumped. I'm not sure why he did that. And tried to do a little sweep there. I thought he was gonna stick a button out and he didn't. And stand jab to swat out try jump but was too far away. Managed to block the try jump anyway. So you can see my my blocking on some of these um, try jumps has gotten better as time uh, go goes on. But of course I still get hit. I got hit right there. I actually jump out of that one. Nice chicken block there. I didn't get anything off of it. But yeah, definitely when, when you're going to jump forward, get into the habit of blocking immediately after jumping forward. And managed to chase him down there. Saw him jump back. Um, took a guess. He could have done CR. Um, command, you know, command hit grab forward. Probably would have hit me. But I guess maybe he didn't think I was going to jump at him. Or he didn't input it fast enough. 
And there's me missing my BNB again. <laughs> Could have gotten a knockdown from that. Some nice damage. Trying to do some jump fierces to swat him out of his float. Jump back, and again, he's not rolling out of the corner. Um, still managed to keep his white life uh, chunky enough that I was able to get the down on him pretty quickly. And did a missile there. I figured he was going to do a dash strong after the first dash strong, so I tossed a missile out. I, I think he did something else, but he got hit anyway. And there's a stand strong. Hit him out. Or a stand jab, rather. That that was a little weird. I did jump back, but I'm not sure how I got hit by that. And yeah, then he gets his try jump into that. Um, I actually, I think I tried to push block there, if I'm not mistaken. And he just kind of staggered his... Uh, Yes. Yeah, right there. See, that's that's what I was talking about. You see how I did like all those low strongs in a row? He I noticed that after doing some low strongs on the on the ground, he was trying to counter poke me to prevent me from dashing in. Um so I just kept doing the stand strong so that he would get snuffed out of hitting those buttons. And again, neutral jump, tried to go for the unblockable, didn't get it. Uh, he hasn't really been tech rolling a whole lot. That was a good push block on his part. Um, if I did low strong when I landed, I would have hit him, but I did a light move, I believe. Yep, so I did I did jump back to make him think, because I had a lot of white life, so I figured he was going to chase me. So I jumped back and then I jumped forward with strong to try and like um, uh, throw off his pursuit attempt. And when I say pursuit, I mean in general, not the pursuit attack. And then right there, I was actually trying to expect uh, something to push block him. Yeah, I think that uh, Delta kick he did was kind of a mistake. He just basically made it easier for me to get out of the corner. So I actually tried to go for a command throw there. Didn't get it. Wound up blocking his ensuing attack, but he still managed to get the edge on me. And at this point, I'm just trying to see how well I can do because it's it's kind of difficult to turn this around against a character like B. It's still possible, of course. Try to go for the command throw again and didn't get it. So I figured after this cross up. He would expect me to push buttons, so I went for the command throw after the cross up. Kept doing. I did two neutral jumps there just because I figured he might try to float in. Um, wasn't expecting the uh, float roundhouse there, so he managed to just catch me off guard with that. And there you go, I did the uh, very low um, jump strong, he crouched. And that's the thing, B will often crouch to try and make air moves with, but if you do them low enough to the ground, it will hit her. I think what I dislike most about that move right there is just how long the animation takes. <laughs> I wish it was faster. Pretty much the only thing I don't like about it. And yeah, at that point, it's just uh, pretty much every button I press got stuff. It's just like his timing on the on his pokes. They just happen to always beat mine. So, and I didn't really get good blocks on his try jump pressure. And that's kind of what it comes down to. Like, if you can't get good blocks on the try jumps, um, you just lose. <laughs> that's it. And once again, a neutral jump because he hadn't really been tech rolling. He floated over the missile. 
Uh, generally, when I think he's going to float and I toss those missiles out, I'm trying to get him to land on the missile. Um, but uh, keep tossing out the missiles a little too early. So they go under him. Yeah, and then I back off here. Um, even though, like, technically, like, you know, he's in the corner. I have the advantage, like, technically. But thing is that... You, you only have the advantage like on paper where like as long as you're pushing buttons and she can't like get her attacks off you have the advantage but otherwise you're just giving her op the opportunity to turn the pressure around right so I back off I figured you know I'll back off I have the mobility advantage over her even though she has um, try jump and float with my double jump my zoning and you know movement um, I guess, like, my movement options are superior to hers in this matchup. At least that's how I feel. So, I figure if I back off, then eventually I'll get another opportunity to, to close out the, the, the bat. And then at this point, yeah, I figured he would try to rush in there, so I just made, made sure not to push any buttons. Um, you know, when, when someone's health is that low, um... They gotta go in, like that's that's what it is. He has a bar here so he can throw jelly. And I really, really, really saw that try jump coming, but the the thing about pressure like that is you generally speaking you have to default to blocking low and react, try to react to the try jump when you see them jump off the ground. Not the other way around. Like you don't block high first. And then block low only if you see them, you know, be on the ground. So, unfortunately, I just didn't press, I just didn't switch my guard quickly enough. And that that's how it is sometimes. <laughs> so I lost that round after doing that well. Um, Boletta's main, like, like one of her main forms of approaching, that was a nice call out right there. I was pretty happy about that. Um... One of her main forms of pressure, or getting like pressure in, is instant, um, instant overhead jump strong. That does not work in this matchup. B's hitbox is just too too small when she crouches. So I, a major part of my game is just gone. So I have to basically approach the matchup from a different angle. This that match right there was fantastic. Like I actually hit my B and B's. My defense was on point. Um, it was kind of the opposite of one of the earlier rounds where like pretty much all my buttons hit their mark. That was a good jump back on his part. Try to cross up there, missed. Very easy to miss <laughs> B with the, the cross up hitbox. Try to go for a sweep there just to get a knockdown. Did a dash jab there, but B can do a low attack um, right under that, so I whiff. Um, that's another thing that you can't really do a whole lot of in this matchup is dash jab with Boletta. If B is crouching, you'll just whiff and then she can turn the pressure around. She can get a combo on you. Um, so I had to try and like minimize how how much I did the dash jab but it's it's kind of hard because like in other matchups you use that a lot with her yeah the neutral jump strong there to try and swat her out figured she was gonna try and take that angle And right there, that was good on him. He actually uh, did some ground pressure and then delayed his low strong. I definitely thought he was going to do a try jump there. And he went low instead. Um, I actually switched my block there preemptively, which, again, I, I mentioned this earlier, but generally you try to react to the try jumps. Um, but I tried to anticipate it. And I was actually trying to anticipate it and get a push block, which is why I changed my guard preemptively and he just did the low strong and it caught me out 
And there, there's that nice angle with the jump fierce to catch him out of his float, but he he did a uh, air block it. I actually tried to neutral jump and then throw him after that, and he just got away. I figured he would try to block, because um, I did the unblockable on the first knockdown, and then on the second knockdown, instead of doing the unblockable, I tried to fake the unblockable and just go for a throw, and in instead he just got away, like he just jumped out, which is a little strange to me, because I didn't really give him a reason to try and do that, but either way, it worked out for him. Uh, tried to do a low, low short into ES missiles there. Got got the stand short by mistake. There you go. Do that double jump into Fierce. Basically covers that his float um, territory. There we go. That's his, his stand medium kick. He's, I've been trying to do like sometimes where I do the, the double jump. Um, Fierce to take him out of the float and whenever he stays on the ground and does stand medium kick he like he basically swats me out of that. Yep, just chicken block those. Try to throw two. I figure I just get rid of them. And at this point, yep, at this point I'm not gonna dash in after that because he keeps trying to counter poke me. I do a low strong and then if I try to do dash strong, he'll like counter poke and hit me out of it. So I just do the two low strong because I have frame advantage on that. So if he pushes a button, I will definitely win. <laughs> then we have the the stare down right there. Then I then I push a few few jabs. Uh, Try to chicken block that. Um, guess I didn't get my guard quickly enough. And there we go. So that's actually what I was trying to do in the pre in one of the previous rounds. Do the unblockable on one knockdown and do an empty jump throw afterward. And he actually teched it, which is a little surprising. But I was surprised that at, at the very least my setup worked. Uh, that was definitely a missed input on his part. So he managed to recover his white life by getting away, but he also lost his pressure as a result. Yeah, at this point, I'm just trying to deny him the tri-jump pressure. As long as I can deny him the tri-jump pressure, I'm in a good spot because the tri-jump is really what makes this matchup rough for Belletta. It's not so much the footsies, it's not so much the jelly, or the combos, or the float. It's the tri-jump. That's what makes this a rough matchup. So, and there we go. I take another game, and I think the reason I started taking some games from him is because I learned how to mitigate the risk of the try jump more and learned how to block it better. Um, I mean, I've played other games like Marvel games and such where you know you have to deal with try jumps. So the concept is not foreign to me. Like I know how to block try jumps. It's just when you haven't played in a while, <laughs> um, actually doing it consistently is is really hard even when you're in practice blocking that consistently is hard when the B does these low try jumps like this but yeah that and there you go I managed to block that one got my push block did a chicken chicken block and into a, a aerial counter so at this point I'm definitely feeling a little bit better about how I'm approaching the matchup did a, did a little bit of stagger pressure delayed sweep um, right there, I, I actually was not expecting to cross him up. I wanted to do two low shorts into ES uh, low missile, but I lost my charge because I got the cross up that I wasn't expecting. That right there confused the hell out of me what he did. I think he confused himself too. Missed my B&B &B there. <laughs> um, so I figured, <laughs> I figured, you know what, I'll just chase him down. His white life is uh, looking pretty bad, so... <laughs> Managed to get another game on him uh, with two bats this time. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That looks like that's the last uh, round. Um, 
I, I wound up taking three in a row right at the end, and then he um he had to go. Uh, all in all, it took about forty five minutes or so, and yeah, it was a definitely great learning experience. Um, I might do more of these. Uh, gotta play more people. Um, this is my favorite fighting game, <laughs> even though I don't really play on Fightcade uh regularly i pop in on a very rare occasion i will pop in and play a, a few people and then and then i'll i'll leave but uh definitely definitely one of my favorite uh my actually my favorite fighting game like my favorite fighting game used to be melee this game at some point overtook that and it's just it's just a blast like i you have such a rush when you play this game and you feel super powerful. And even when you lose, you don't feel bad about the loss, typically. M most of the time, you know. I guess it depends on how you lose. But it's very uncommon, at least for me, it's very uncommon that I will get mad upon losing. Um, even if the opponent just washes me and they just mollywop me. I don't really get mad like that a whole lot in this game. <laughs> Which... uh that definitely was the case in melee <laughs> i would definitely get upset at times um but this game is it's just kind of hard to get upset um with, with this game in particular um yeah i actually did pick up b recently i did learn how to play b um currently i can play three characters in this game um and b is my most recent uh pickup um, so I think that actually did help me prepare a little bit for this matchup because I was kind of, I knew what to expect. I knew that, oh, he he catches me with the ESCR in the corner. He has meter. He's definitely going to throw up uh, a jelly. Like, absolutely. Um, you know, if I try to tech roll out of it, he has the option to 50-50 me with the jelly. So that's a bad idea. Um, definitely understand. Um he does try jump, um, try jump jab. Um, the jab actually gives you a little bit better frame advantage over the 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 short um, at the expense of range. The low the the try jump short will have better range, but slightly worse frame advantage. Of course, you want to try and get that and combo into the ES uh, uh, command hit grab, uh, things like that. Um, course all of like basic footsies stand strong and low strong stuff like that low medium kick has a uh, really really good frame advantage on block and hit things like that uh, i noticed he didn't command throw me b does have a command throw and he didn't use it on me a single time which i'm not sure if there's a reason for that uh, i i know that it does put you on the other side of of the screen so like, if I'm in the corner, then he's probably not going to want to use that um, because then he, I get out of the corner. He does get a free bubble setup out of it if he has the meter, but he loses his positioning advantage. Um, but then there were definitely times where he was in the corner. If he had used that on me, he could have put me in the corner instead. Um, so I'm not really sure why he didn't use it. Maybe just didn't feel comfortable maybe the way i was playing with the the way i was timing my button presses he didn't feel comfortable actually dashing in and getting it he didn't really go for throws a whole lot which was kind of surprising because b is one of those characters that can open you up for throws pretty reliably even you know whether you whether you're doing the um you know super low try jumps or you're doing like an empty try jump into a throw like, you have that option. B has that option to do that. Um, so even though he was washing me for a lot of this session, um, that, that, I guess that would be my main, my main constructive criticism of his gameplay, um, which is, is just, he should, have, he should have done throws more and maybe to uh, tossed in some command throws in there. Um, because I would, I would have absolutely gotten caught by, by some of those. Um, I basically s stayed blocking and just, I had the option to 
focus on the high low mix up and the stagger pressure mix up, which is really only two things that I have to focus on when B gets her pressure. But if you throw if you throw in the throws, then that's three things that I gotta worry about now. And also cross up try jumps as well. I think he I think he did get a few of those, but I'm not sure if they were intentional or not. If you get some cross up try jumps, now that's four things that I gotta think about when you're up close. So I think that that would have made it harder for me to deal with. Um but either way, he still watched me for a lot of those games until I cleaned up my act and then I then I was doing better. I'm really happy. This is the sort of game where like if you pay attention to what's going on, even if you're getting washed, you will you will progress. You will um perform better. And you you'll make adjustments. And that that honestly like to me, it feels because of the pacing of the rounds in this game. Um, it's easier to do that in a game like this than, you know, in in games where the, the matches are longer. That's just how I feel. Um, but yeah, um, that was my match analysis. Uh, the game is really fast, so there's no way I was going to be able to cover everything that happened. But... Um, I tried to cover as much as I could and just go over my general thought process on how I was approaching the matches, what I was trying to do in certain situations, and how I was trying to adapt to uh, dealing with what was giving me trouble in the beginning. Um, and yeah, um, if I do some, if I get some more good games on Fightcade, I'll, I'll probably try and record those, maybe do some match analysis of those. Um, they might be with Boletta, um, for now until I learn more about how to fight some of these characters. Um, my other characters are Lilith and B, like I mentioned. Um, but I don't think my Lilith is at a point yet where I can, I mean, I, I, I feel like I'm pretty, I'm pretty decent with her. I can, pro I can probably, probably do pretty well um with her but i feel like my my uh guard cancels are probably not really where they should be with her so until i can get my guard cancels to be really uh pretty decently well with her um uh you know on fight k then i'm probably just gonna stick to boletta and try and figure out certain characters with her so if i put up any future videos of this this kind of thing um it'll most likely be with boletta uh, and then, you know, you'll get to probably see like the sort of progress of making adaptations and whatnot. All right. And that's enough for the rambling. Um, tried to close it out and just kind of like tie up the loose ends right there. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed the matches and I'll see you next time.